<laughs> You've messed up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise. With your dying scream. <laughs> Hello, all you fine folks, and welcome back, my returning viewers. This is Farstrider Games, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my Wolong Fallen Dynasty boss fight series, in which I provide you tips to overcome some of the more complicated boss encounters. And in this episode, we're taking on Dong Zhuo the Merciless. Or should I call him Dong Zhuo the Cheeky? Because he likes to throw a dagger at the start of every single fight, every single time. So be warned. So let's just start off with the absolute basics. Your deflect timing. You need to have this down at least to a moderate degree. Simply blocking and dodging will punish you. And that's the game teaching you that you need to fight more aggressively because of the way the spirit gain and stagger bar works. My second basics tip is going to be make sure you have as many dragon pot uses as possible. So this is going to require you to go into previous levels to find the dragon vein essence and dragon vein crystals so that you can increase the amount of healing potions and how potent they are. Third basics tip, make sure you're upgrading your armor and your weapons as high as you can with the crafting materials that you have available. If you need more, you can either farm enemies for them, or you can go back into submissions and unlock upgrade materials as a reward for completing those submissions. <laughs> and my last basics tip, at least for me personally, I like to have my dodge extra quick, and that requires you to have your equipment weight below 70%. That's not going to be for everybody depending on your build. Now let's talk about Dong Zhuo. He's a pretty aggressive boss. His attacks are pretty much non-stop throughout the fight. His attacks do have long reach. And he's a lot faster than he looks. Take an opponent like this and put him to a small fighting arena. And you will find there are few opportunities for recovery. And that's not all. Dong Zhuo being his cheeky self any small opportunities for recovery that you may have, he's going to take advantage by tossing plenty of daggers at you, sometimes up to eight at a time. And one does not simply block these dagger throws. Each one is going to cause chip damage and massive stagger. And if you do get stunned, he will take advantage of it. Most of his combos are just like three hits, but some of them can go up to like six and the timing is a little bit weird it's almost as if some of these bigger combos are long-winded where his attacks will have a, a wind up and you'll think that the combo's finished and you can get a couple hits in but then you get punished if dong Zhuo runs at you with an unblockable with his arm out to grapple you make sure you're deflecting that or you're dodging it if that hits you if you have even three quarters health you will die. Wow! With these tips in mind, Dong Zhuo should fall easier. If you like what you see on this channel, like and subscribe. I would like that very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.